Alright. Hey, dude, relax. What you're you're so relax? uptight. I don't want to waste your time. You ain't wasting my time. I ain't got nothing but time. Alright. I ain't got nothing till 7 30 in the morning. <laughs> How are your legs feeling? My ass is a different story, bro. My glutes. Yeah, for some reason, I'm pretty sore there, too. I think it was those uh, it was the reverse, reverse lunge to yeah. step ups. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was getting me. That was unbelievable. I mean, that, too. <laughs> I was, that's why I said I can show you how to do that. <laughs> Jeez Louise. All right, folks, welcome into uh, Real Talk Mississippi State Edition. Uh, we actually filmed our first episode last week, but had some stuff go wrong. So this is our initial episode to kick it off. Uh, as you can see, Jaden Wally, starting receiver, is uh, my co-host. Pleasure to be with you, brother, as oh, yeah. always. Um, basically, what this is, is just two dudes chopping it up, having a good time, telling stories that no one's heard before, and having guests on, mm. other than Will, that are really good guests. Yeah, uh, I guess. Pretty average. <laughs> At best. what his girl said, too, <laughs> but it's all right. No, Such a weak joke. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's all right. Uh, we are, if you guys didn't know, we're actually in the smokestack. Uh, our guy, Phil, owns the smokestack in West Point, Mississippi. This is the Brandon Walker Smoking Lounge. Shout out to Phil and Brandon for getting us in here. If you need anything <laughs> from cigars to uh, a drink to enjoy in an evening. This is the place to be. And we got Anthony's next door, which we might be making a stop here pretty soon. Yeah, uh, it's like 100%. 100%. That's a lot. <laughs> it's definitely going to happen. We might see, uh, see your buddy that we saw last night. Yeah, he might be there. Um, Let's hope he's not having so many cocktails drinks. as he had last night. <laughs> I don't know. He might be crapping on his son about putting again. That was interesting. Um, all right, but yeah, first episode, uh, starting quarterback, Mr. Will Rogers is our yeah. guest. From Brandon, Mississippi. Uh, Boo. Was y'all rivals in high school or something? No. Nah, it's uh, not even that close. It wasn't even close enough to be rivals. Okay, well, I was just wondering. Well, he, just smoked well, he, he, we, play, we played against him. Scared. First round of playoffs. I had a concussion. I couldn't play. Soft. They snuck away with an easy win. <laughs> snuck easy, away with an easy, easy. win. Those two don't, that don't go together very <laughs> I well. Know, I'm, snuck I'm, away. I'm saying like. Oh, we didn't. There wasn't much sneaking around that night. My team was. Listen, here's the night. thing. Me, me and Creed were talking about this the other day. Because Creed's <laughs> from Florida. I'm from Georgia. All Mississippi, Mississippi people, too, is talking about how good the high school football is here. Is it, is it, it, is I mean, it unreal? It is. It is. I tell people all the time, though, like, the thing about Mississippi kids is, like, you'll get, like, a – I mean, the guy's just the best player on his team. Yep. So, like, Florida and Georgia, like, that guy's actually playing what he's going to play in college. You know, like, mm -hmm. best player on the team, he's going to play quarterback in Mississippi. So, like, like Wally played like Wally, play quarterback. Wally played quarterback for since, what, ninth grade? Yep. Wally played quarterback <laughs> since ninth grade. And, obviously, he's starting receiver now. He has been the last three years. But, I mean, you think about all the reps he could have had at receiver if he's – in a different state. a better situation, yeah. you know. So, I mean, that's kind of why you don't hear about as many kids, like, getting recruited as much from Mississippi. Well, we we're talking about today, Willie Gay. Willie Gay. Yeah. Willie Gay. Yeah, speaking of Willie Gay, stud. We talked about him earlier. Quarterback. Now he's a linebacker in the league, playing for the Chiefs. That's pretty right, sick. He's a dog. Uh, Mississippi puts out some dudes, man, especially Juco. Um, but, anyways, you, you got to play high school ball with your, your dad as your coach, right? Yeah. How was that? What was that like? I mean, it was cool. It was cool. I got to see, like, Gardner Minshew was a quarterback before. So, like, I was, like, literally on the headset. At your high school? Yeah. No way. Yeah. I know that. So, I was, like, on the headset in the press box, like, literally, like, charting plays as, like, a fifth grader. That's awesome. And while Gardner's playing. So, it was, it was cool. I've heard some pretty cool – I say cool. I've heard some pretty wild press box stories. I'd say <laughs> that. I mean, they say – I would say, like, you hear uh, – if you ever like put on a headset of like a football game, you're gonna hear some wild stuff. And uh, I got introduced to it at a pretty young age. So it was Yeah. I've heard some wild stuff on the headset. That's what one of our guy one of my guys I used to know that was a GA somewhere was like, if you could record that and sell it for entertainment, it, it you would be it would be on M MTV oh, every single day. It night. would be, yeah. I mean so, you hear some wild stuff. Talk about getting canceled, like I dude. mean, yeah. I can't even imagine. Um, 
kind of a football family though. You you played for your dad, your brother now plays at Southern Miss, mm -hmm. and we're playing him this year. What is that going to be like playing playing him? I mean, he's already started talking trash. Oh, man, I Actually, forgot about uh, that. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's, Little already, talking started, trash yeah, already. he's already started talking trash. He's like, that's a trap game for y'all. Oh, you know how, gosh. You know how he, I mean, he's a freshman, so he's like, it just adds to it, you know, where he's just like, man, I really want to beat him, but it'll be cool. Um, Who are the parents cheering for? What are they yeah, I'm do? worried about mom. I'm worried about, I think my mom just might cry the whole day. <laughs> she might not even just go to the, like, game, the whole game. She, she might not even go. Uh, She's doing like the jersey that the Kelsey, the, the Kelsey, split jersey. yeah. So she'll have like we gotta get a picture of that half golden black, half maroon and white, and like I don't know what number he is, but that's sweet. Yeah, it'll be pretty cool. Somebody's we'll be, making it for her, so that's awesome. What position does he play? Center and guard. So talked to him today. He said he did reps at guard. So nice. I don't know. Um, I told him like first first drive if he's in there. I mean, I'm like all the. Audible in like a gap blitz for Buki. No, I like, love Buki, it. I want you Buki, Buki coming like, on. I want just... Buki and Jet coming like on cross dog, <laughs> and like just hitting him under the chin. <laughs> welcome to college football, son. Yeah, welcome to the show, kid. <laughs> that is absolutely electric. <laughs> yeah. I love it, dude. What was uh? Well, that's pretty cool that you had a brother that got recruited. What was the like? What was y'all's recruiting experience like? I know you can hit on yours, and then yeah. me, both, both of y'all, yeah. Uh, so, me and my brother are so close in age, I guess. Uh, pretty much, we got recruited together all throughout until I, when I came here, of course, Where they picked up the extra stuff. If you didn't go here, we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> secret, secrets. Yeah. Anyway, when did you get your first offer? I was in ninth grade. Really? Yep. Good for you. Early. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was really I don't know I don't know how to explain it. I was terrified. I like, I, didn't, I never thought I was gonna play college football. That's a fact. Really? It didn't come to reality until I was a junior that I was gonna actually play in college. Or but you already off? Yeah, but like I wasn't thinking about that. Really? I ain't gonna lie to you at all. I love baseball too much. Hmm. You That's think? Fine. You think? What that I can strike you out? No 100%. shot. Percent. There's no shot. Hundred percent. You get. Let's say you get fifty at bats. Fifty at bats. You think you're getting five hits? Where? At what level? What level? No state. No it's chance. Fifty at bats. Am what I getting five mean? hits? No chance. No chance. I get five hits. Yeah, I, I don't think I so. I mean, Wally can swing it a I little know bit. He can, huh? but like, I mean, like, what, what are we talking? We talking about like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, dude? Or are we talking like Tuesday midweek game? 90, I mean, that, I mean, that doesn't. I mean, fifty at bats. Fifty at bats. I'm getting five hits. I know for a fact I'm getting five hits. I'm okay. That's close. I mean, that's a good. That's a that's a great line. I mean, line. yeah, you got to think though. Line. Like, I mean, not right now. Give me, give me a okay, month and a half. I meant cold, like no. straight out the okay. no shot, no shot. Yeah. I mean, you get give you two months to just see a lot of pitching and then hit and yeah. get back into it. You that you getting fifteen hits out of fifty? Yeah, maybe. I know I can get five though. Not not today, but I think you maybe got five weeks. in you. Oh yeah. If you played like a weekend, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I mean, you got to think 50. I mean, how many? What do you get? Bats is, you get that's, three, four at bats a game. game. That's 10, 15 games. I mean, games. somebody's better at math than I am. That's but, 10 or 15 games. Yeah. Between 10 and 15 games. Yeah. I'll give you 10 hits. 10 hits. Well, now you're up in the ante a little bit. 10? I, I don't know about 10. I'm giving you like five. That's a hit a game. Five, six, maybe. Five or six hits out of yeah. 50 at bats. I mean, bro, you got to think. Like, some of these cats ain't getting a hit a game. I mean, I mean yeah. I bro, mean, you get a hit a game. I mean, don't. that's a good day. I'm a drag bunt, two of them. I told you. I told, <laughs> I'm a drag yeah. bunt, two of them. Show to, <laughs> hit, yeah. <laughs> Show to speed, baby. Yeah. What was your recruiting process like? I mean, probably a little different than y'all's. I didn't so. Underrated I, like me, huh? Yeah. But you had more offers than I did. You, I mean, what all? I had like you seven. To, I only had like. Dude, I had like five six. Five or six SEC. That's I exactly had five right. or six total. I had really. I had Mississippi State, Washington State, Tulane, Troy, Southern Miss. Five. Wow. Five. Yeah. And now oh, you hold almost every well, single I, record. Yeah, I guess. And my, half of my offers was just because somebody else offered me. Uh, we had the legends with us uh, this evening. Heard he was a fun guy to be around. YouTube obviously played hmm. for him. Tell me, uh, tell me some of your best. Coach Leach, memories and stories. Go first. I don't know. I'm trying to think of one, a good one that's a appropriate lot. for this yeah, show. Yeah, I mean, know? I've had so many people, a lot of people, when they ask me about him, they just ask, like, I mean, what is he like? Like, what is he like? I'm just there. 
whatever they see is what yeah, he's like. Yeah, like, that's, and that's he, like, he don't yeah, change. It's just like his everyday thing, yeah. that how he is. Like, just like, doesn't care about, like, he just doesn't care what people think about at him all. at all. Like, he doesn't care what people say. It's just <laughs> him in the wind. Just Him in the wind. He just does it. I like the cargo shorts. Shorts. Yeah. I mean, it's, like, when I think about him, that's what I think about. Bro, when I think would, about cargo shorts, that's what I think about. Or he would be. Would he, like, stuff him for practice? Yes. Uh, really? Oh, my gosh. He got fruit in one pocket. He got his snuff in one pocket. I mean, he just got stuff everywhere. It's dude, great. Sandwiches. He that's, would. Oh, pull out a whole sandwich. Just out of every pocket. period, just bringing out something different. <laughs> he every would, period, he going on the hill to dude, eat him a sandwich. Dude, he would, uh, <laughs> first of all, he would be late. For oh, quarterback, God. I mean, you got a meeting with Mike Leach at five. It's gonna start you at five thirty. You can play Nintendo six. until about five forty-five. <laughs> so he just rolls up in to quarterback me. He's like, "We'll be playing. I mean, we're playing Georgia, Alabama. I mean, he'll just roll up in because he doesn't drive to work. Somebody goes and picks him up every day. He wakes up at about like twelve every day. Wakes up at twelve. He says he walks his dog for a little bit, listens to some music, uh, and then just like comes around, hangs around the house, plays fetch with his dog. Somebody picks him up around two, team meeting at two thirty, rolls into meetings. Man. And so he'll like roll into meetings, cargo shorts, like an old Mississippi State shirt, like not like a nice Adidas Mississippi State shirt, like old like it's, cotton, just a, it's a shirt that says Mississippi shirt, State that's awesome Mississippi State with a, the uh, bully hat he's got Costa's on his glasses and like his wife makes him like sandwiches and like cut up apples and like he drinks he used to drink like this green shake and like he just starts pulling it all out of his things and just like throwing it on the table and just like What's up, coach? You ready to practice just, today? That's awesome. I mean, there's so many, man, so many stories that are just unique to say the least. Very seemed like a cool dude to play for, though. Like, oh, yeah. dude, he loved it. He loved it. That's one thing about it. Like, he is like a, he's like a weird, weird competitiveness. It's very like weird. he doesn't like get like so like like jacked up or yeah. anything like he's not gonna give you like a crazy he's just gonna tell you yeah. don't lose like, he's just like not. he's not gonna lose. give you like a crazy pregame speech before the game or anything but he's just like got like the mentality of like like I don't like I don't care who these guys yeah. are like we don't care we're gonna run our we're gonna run 95 we're, we're gonna run, run our s- stuff we're gonna run 6 <laughs> they can't stop it <laughs> so, that's awesome that's what he was like <laughs> tell me uh Tell me the Sandpit story. I've, I've heard this a few times. <sighs> which one? Shoot. Yeah, which one? Pre-practice. Oh, that was when we played Bama. This the one you're talking yeah. about? When we ro- rolled before practice? Yeah. You can tell that one. All right, so we played Bama, obviously. Lost. We, yeah, no, we were we were 5-1. and one. We just lost to Kentucky. We just lost to Bama. And then, yeah, take yeah. away. Yeah, so it's a Sunday after we played Bama. Yeah. We go to a uh, team meeting. And he tells us how we're so scared of the logo oh, Alabama man. has. And then we watched this video. It's a train. We actually made shirts for this. And it's like, what does it say? I, what does it say? I think I can. I, I think I can. I know I can. I, I know, know I can. I know I, I, know I can. can. Thomas the Train. Like yes. there's some riddle or something. Bro, I don't know. We watched it like five times. Then we stopped watching it. Then we had Brittany. She was like the, I don't know what her title was. Anyways, he gave her a piece of paper and then she started reading it to us. The uh-huh. whole store. Then he'll pause it. It's a book. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then he told us that we was going to roll in the sand pit Bro, every day before started. practice until we won. So yeah. the whole, it wasn't just one practice? It was no, the whole week? The whole week. The whole week. No, like the next like two or three weeks. Yeah, we did. So we did pre practice. Yeah. So who we played? Then we go straight to the sand pit. Yeah. Roll in the sand pit. It might only and then go practice. It was only that beat, one week because yeah, we, we beat all We'd be all the next week. week. Yeah. Bro, talk so about you just you roll, get up, everybody dizzy for the next hour of practice. Bro, like you were talking about like being in a bad mood, like starting practice. I, didn't roll that I mean, he didn't care. Like quarterbacks, kickers. Hey, if you were on the team, you're rolling. He almost made a coach's roll. Like <laughs> it, it was crazy. I mean, you're talking about like finding some sand. 
in like in your hair and stuff like nah that ain't Plus it some issues down there running bro sand in your pants mm-hmm. that was what? the whole point of it that's that crazy. was the whole like, point of it. Like, if you told Leach that, it was like he got so he much got joy yeah. out of really? out of life. You have sand? <laughs> no yeah. way. Like, like yeah. he actually got happy to know that you had sand. Yeah, it was crazy. That's awesome. Well, maybe you'll be tough now. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you'll be a tough guy now. <laughs> you're rough. You're rough. Yeah. Well, I, I have sand. sand on me. I'm tough. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. I love it. Well, that was just him all the time. All the that was time. his punishment for everything. I mean, you missed class, saying, mm. <laughs> I mean, everything. That's brutal, dude. Yeah, that was brutal. A true legend. Oh, yeah. Pioneer. Rest in peace to the, the legend himself. Um, With the Trump story. Oh, yeah. I need this one. <laughs> I got to hear this That's again. my favorite one. All right, so this is in 21. Yeah, 2021, our sophomore year. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to play Auburn. So it's Auburn week and it's Wednesday. So like we're doing, you know, we do like our third down thing, mm-hmm. you know, where like you or no red zone, red zone, red zone. So red you got zone, the red, red zone, zone drill and then you got goal line and then, you know, we'll flip around and do like our special oh, yeah, plays yeah, yeah, yeah. of the week or whatever. Like five plays. So, you know, our script was just red zone and it was just our plays. So like you had like 10 red zone plays and it was just like our plays in a row and Leach would just go down those, like go down the script for that uh for that drill well i'm huddling up you know i'm getting the offense together on the ball and everybody in the huddle knows what the play is gonna be yeah. like it's script one it's script one and uh we look over there and he's uh he's on his phone <laughs> and uh we're like like i mean it's it's not it's not not normal it's normal yeah. so it's normal for him to just be doing whatever during special teams but it it had kind of carried over a little bit so we're standing there for like five five ten minutes so i was finally like all right man to heck with this like all right script run we're running it so we run we're like we're like four or five plays in he finally gets off the phone walks over there like nothing happened all right script five y'all are on four script five keep going keep going so we finished the drill and we go through practice, I think, before I knew. And I don't know who I asked. I asked Coach Brown, I think, after practice. <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> Mr. President himself. So this is what, 2021? Yep. So he was president. No, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't president. He wasn't president. No. Yeah, the election yeah, was in 2020. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. That's electric. How do you get, nope. a, hold of, how do you get a hold of Donald Trump? They're, apparently they, they go like way back, dude. Like they're boys. Like they he used to talk to them when they were at Washington State. I mean, just talking to them, random conversation, middle of the week. <laughs> Hold, Wednesday, Donald, Wednesday Trump, Donald Trump's holding up our practice. Hold That's on. That's crazy. That's, That's wild. absolutely insane, dude. Could you imagine? That's wild. And that's well, all the time. That's every day something new. Oh yeah. When he you know when he he uh so like when he first got there, he used to put like his headphones in his phone. Listen to Spanish. Person. He would listen to Rosetta Stone on his phone in Spanish on his phone, like really? Spanish songs and like just Spanish words over and over again because he wanted to learn Spanish. That's a fact. That's I remember wild, that. Dude. Leech ain't Leech ain't learning no Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's so funny. Well, a legend. Uh, the man got you to, well didn't get you to Mississippi State but started y'all's tenure here yeah we're gonna do our second segment called uh the real talk recruiting pitch you two gotta give why a recruit should come to Mississippi State why is Mississippi State mm-hmm. the school to come to I mean hard nosed guys love football that's a good reason to come that's that's what we are that's what we pride ourselves on I would say well like it I mean, yeah, that, and it's just, like, in the best conference, you know. I mean, obviously, like, the conference changes are coming next year or whatever, but, I mean, even getting to go play at Texas is something that – something would be pretty fun to me. Oh, yeah, that's going to be amazing. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, tough, hard-nosed. I mean, love football is the main thing. You know, you you see so many guys, like, getting the SEC and things like that that, like, like, do they love it? 
Like, I feel like if you get to the league, like, you have to love it a little bit. Obviously, there's, like, some freaks of nature that, like, they're just crazy talented. Yeah. But, you know, if you if you don't love football, I probably wouldn't come here. You're not going to be around for long. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're not going to be around for long, and you're not going to – you're definitely not going to go on the field, so. I love it. Plus the people. The people here are unreal. Oh, oh yeah. God. They so, love what was football. like that for you, like, people-wise, like, compared to UGA and – I mean, I ain't trying to start nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. No, I'm I mean, just kidding. Everybody at UGA, like, I mean, obviously Georgia's great like, people. Yeah, um, a lot bigger though, huh? But yeah, a lot bigger. So like when we came, when we came and visited here, and even now living here, like it's just, just so much more of a small town feel. Like you know everybody. Yeah. yeah. And everybody's just, I mean, dude, everybody has been so kind. Yeah. Them, even the month that I've been here. I guess um, there are pros and cons to everything. Huh? Yeah, I mean, everything has its ups, its downs. It's all different, but uh, yeah. speaking of playing in the best conference, SEC, it is expanding. You're going to media day. Talk about some of the yeah. Uh, what's the, what's the drip going to look like? <laughs> I mean, I don't. When does this come? This comes out tomorrow. I don't know if I can. Give a little teaser. Come on, give a little teaser. I got a little something. I got to learn how to tie a bow tie. I tell you that much. Well, I, I got, got a you. week. I got a week. Do you know how? Yeah. I might. My name is your pops right there. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. I might. Hey, boy! I teach you how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> <You can't>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I might have. I might be having Wally tie me up before I leave the house. That'll be a cute picture. You yeah, I would make be. Sure you picture <laughs> a little Christmas card. Yeah. Uh, nah, little bow tie. I mean, navy suit. I'm hoping I can put on the dress shoes if they let me, but I don't know. We'll see. Heck yeah! That'd nothing. Be fun. Nothing crazy. I don't. I keep it basic. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what would you wear? What would I wear? You would. I already know. No, 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 no. I wear these with a suit. I swear. No, I would. you would not. Yes, I bro. would. Bro, those would not fit on a suit. Yes, they would. Wally. It'd be close. You can, get, you, can get, you can get Taylor. Pull them up. I quick. mean, yeah. That's tight. They ain't. You know what I think uh, is maybe. the move on Dog Walk this year? I mean, either like khaki pants, just normal khaki pants, boots, like nice looking boots, your coat. And a cowboy hat. For sure. Or. We can picture. make that happen. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> this was a. Uh, you know what they call you where where we come from? Fake cowboy. A fake cowboy. <laughs> I'm from Atlanta. I'm not, I ain't a cowboy. I ain't just put it to you like that. Cowboy hat don't make you a cowboy. You, you dang right. That's a fact. Let's see if we can find this picture. It's a good looking picture now. Everybody want to be a cowboy until it's time nah. to be a cowboy. <laughs> All right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I don't know where it went. Nah, I'll show you later. That's fine. I still got it, though. I don't believe you took it. I don't believe it happened. All right. Well, now we're going to go <laughs> down to the rest. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'll show you You know who does do that? Coach Brock. He wear, like, I've seen him wear the black, like a black suit. Yeah. Black cowboy. Or knit. Does Arnett not, do it? Yeah. Black, Brock will wear like a black suit, black cowboy boots. I mean, he looks sharp. And I'm like, all right, what's uh, Spurrier. <laughs> yeah. Spurrier. Spurrier did. He had a new pair of boots every Spurrier week. Spurrier had boots. I mean, shoot, them dog awards got the best dress, so I mean. Yeah. One of y'all got to step up and do something. For what? Best dressed? For what? You just got so serious. What do you, what do you mean? The... the <laughs> Dog Choice Awards, or whatever, that is in April, where they, yeah. called, they told us yesterday at student orientation. Yeah, like when we had the uh, the maroon and white, maroon and white night. night. Oh. Yeah, nobody wants that. Uh, yeah, we do want to go. That? We uh, love okay. that. Night. All right, <laughs> tough subject for you. Yeah, um, I'm in and out. Carson, I'm gonna turn it back over to you. We're gonna do our third and final segment. <clears throat> See what you got. The real talk blind draft. Yeah. So. We have what's known as the Real Talk Blind Draft. I'm going to give you guys five. There's a category. I'm going to give you five things from that category one at a time, and you're going to rank them without knowing what comes what's next. next. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And today, Sneaky. our topic is <laughs> video games. Oh, Will doesn't know anything about that. But. Me either. <sighs> well, you play video games. Don't lie. That's a, we play the same video game. When, I, like, I like this. When did, you get a, when did you get a PlayStation? When did I get one? Probably about. So my brothers always played the game, but I got my own personal PlayStation about tenth or eleventh grade. Same answer. Will give me the exact verbatim. That is Will not what me. I said. I said I got one right before I moved into college. You said uh, you got one in eleventh grade. Oh, uh, 
That's the exact answer. That's about it. I got like a PS4 and then, uh, or three, whatever it was. I like I like this topic. We'll roll with it. All right, I've got five pretty good ones. I think so. It's gonna be tough. Ten. All right, number one, we got NCAA fourteen. Uh, one. Oh, one, one for one. sure. That's the goat. I mean, dude. you know who played How the game? How are you hesitating? I mean, it's good, but is it like the best ever? It's the best. Like the best that I've played? There's a reason it still sells on Craigslist and it's 10 years old. Okay, the fact that you know that is a little scary. <laughs> but I'm going to go three. Three with okay. that one? Three. That's, that's fair. It's good. I still have mine. Number two, I don't know if this is really all style, but it's the most popular game of all time. So we've got Minecraft. Mm. Five. Five. <laughs> not a fan. Don't. <laughs> I'll go four because I'm not gonna say the same as them. I'll okay, go four. I played fair. Minecraft when I was in middle school, so, so I've never played it. I see people playing. I'm like, why are y'all playing? It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. What are you doing, Minecraft? Build, build, build a world. A, build a massive world. <laughs> and then what? You survive. Look at it. You can play survival mode. <laughs> Look at it. Lay down, live it. Show your friends. Look what I made. <laughs> Let's oh, go. Man. What's All number right. three? Next, we've got Fortnite. Two. Dang. Two. That could have been one. That could have been one, but been two. One. Because it, I love NCAA. Two. This is tough. I'm going one. Two. You're going yeah, one. Hey, guys, 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 that game there is. I knew it. No. Black Ops oh, one. I, I said, I, I'm a Black Ops one over Black Ops two. Guys. So that's a hot, Black Ops hot takes. Uh, what's, the, uh, what's the map with the bus on it? Nuketown. Uh, Nuketown. 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 I'm God. telling you. I'm Fire. telling you. Hey, that's three for me. My dad. My dad. Fifty two. I guess he's fifty two. Fifty one. He still plays Black Ops One. No way. Zombies. No, that's not, that's <laughs> not zombies. Yeah, that's zombies. Um, <laughs> Kinder Toe. That, yeah. You like Kinder Toe? I like Five. Really? Five? Yeah, where you're uh, like John F. Kennedy and the Bro, a couple of those guys. So good. Yeah, those were the days. Talk I guess about, I gotta go two. That's my two. Talk about like going over to a buddy's house and like Friday night you go to the full high school football game in like seventh grade. Come back and you stay up till like four. Oh, you're running and all right. Black, Black Ops, Ops too. Yeah. Like that was. That was like I'm not. I will never get tired, and I could play this game all night. Yep. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> for sure. I'll give that. So, I had my two open. I, Black Ops two in particular. I'll go five. That's three. Wow. Me. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a one guy over two for sure. Wow, but to put it five. Well, I guess you only have <laughs> three left. Three and five. Yeah. So. All right, and last but not least, well, what would y'all, y'all put it at? I put it. I at got three. one, two. I got four left. I put okay. it at two. Okay, cool. Okay. Last but not least, I didn't know what the best year of this game was, but so I just said NBA 2K. Oh, God. Gosh, in my five. Yeah, that's four. I mean, I'll go three. Been. I'm comfortable with three. Uh, I'm, six. I can put it before. Six. <laughs> I can put it before Minecraft. All right, so go go through and go one through five. All right, so my one was NCAA. Two Wait, was Fortnite. Wow. Three was what would you say? Black Ops Two. Black Ops Two. Yeah. Four. 2K. 2K and then Minecraft. Man, you got a, I like your list yeah, a lot. That's pretty solid. That's one. a really good list. I go Fort I'm still at Fortnite. Yeah, I'm putting Fortnite one, Black Ops two, NCAA three, and then I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna You can't flip. Wait, what do you mean? That's the point of the blind yeah, draft. Oh, I thought time. you made in the order now that you know. Uh-huh. No. No, no, no. Uh, cool. well then that's my first three. And so then Fortnite, is five. Fortnite, Black Ops two, NCAA, NCAA two K. Minecraft. 2K and Minecraft. I, I guess that's solid. NCAA, that's solid. That's solid. Fortnite, 2K. 2K at three. Minecraft, Black Ops at five. Black You're Ops two at five. Crazy. Yeah, that's probably that ain't great. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty bad. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Thanks, Might Carson. Have to cut that. Thanks, brother. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> that wasn't great. I Speaking mean, you of, just dude, disrespected Call of Duty hard. <laughs> Smart. I mean, after what they did with Nick Merckx, I mean, listen here. Who is Nick Merckx? He's a streamer, and he came out. You, no, 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 let's just, let's just, listen. No, you, this is an interesting. This is an interesting topic. So he came out and tweeted about how let kids have their own choices on their body. Like stop, like parents, <laughs> stop forcing them to get surgeries. They don't want like they don't even, they don't even know, right? They're just yeah, kids. Let them be kids. Yeah. And call and he basically has a streamer. He's a big, makes millions a year. But he had a package on Call of Duty of like his skin and stuff. And they took all of it down because he said that, and it caused a huge rage in the gaming community. Wow. So, yeah. But 
speaking of, I cannot wait to have my PS5 back. When do you get it back? I think she's hiding it from me. It's in storage somewhere at her house in Atlanta, and we can't find it. So, oh, bro, she no trashed. Trash. She trashed that about a month ago. <laughs> she, she she trashed that when, you, when you tied the knot, she said, "Oh so, yeah, yeah, we're getting rid of this PS5." Oh man. Yeah. Well, Wilbert, appreciate you being on, brother. Appreciate y'all Jay, having me. I'm we'll do it again. This. All yeah. eight times. We will do it again. You guys hit us up on all our socials at realtalk.msstate. Um, or at Real Talk Sports Podcasts on YouTube. Appreciate it, boys. Hail State. We'll see y'all.